What's going on my people? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the PS4K, PS4.5, PS what are you waiting for, PS what am I upgrading for, whatever you want to call it. It's coming, it's definitely happening, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm going to get one. I'm only going to get one. And uh, so there will be four in my house. I'm trying to debate whether or not I'll sell one or just keep it and have four. If I do have four, I gotta give my five-year-old a PS4, so she might be a little too young for that. But I'm definitely going to get one. And uh, I molded over my mind, you know, the, the perks, the ups and downs of the thing. And I figured that if I do sell it, you know, I could recoup some of that cost and maybe only pay 200 bucks, you know, $150 maybe to buy the new one. Uh, that, that seeing games in 4K resolution is going to be really awesome. Even though it's really just upscaled to 4K, because I don't think that this thing is going to be able to natively actually run games and applications at 4K. I don't think it's going to have that much power. But apparently, it's going to have a hell of a lot more power than it has right now. And that's the thing that's got me really excited, especially for things like VR. I'll drop a link in the description. Rumor, PS4.5 to have twice as powerful GPU. New CPU. Deep Down and God of War 4 among launch titles. A NeoGAF user named Osiris Black has posted what he claims to be a handful of information about the rumored PS4K from a meeting held yesterday. The user's sources are verified by NeoGAF's moderators. While this doesn't necessarily mean the information is correct, it means that they have verified Osiris Black as someone who would have access to this information. Here are the details. Price and trade ends. The price is currently $399. There were discussions about including a better CPU, which would raise the price to $499. A price that is guaranteed to be the maximum amount one would want to pay for an upgraded console. There are currently no plans for a trade-in program for PS4 owners, but that could change. GPU and Blu-ray player. The GPU is twice as powerful as the current PS4 and much faster. It runs at higher clock speed and is much smaller than the original. It will have a 4K Blu-ray player and upscale games that are not 4K native. There is a caveat. This is not to say that newer games will run 4K native. The media player application. There is talk of a quote VR lounge end quote for the media player application which will be getting a substantial upgrade. Dev kits and existing games. Developers already have development kits for the new PlayStation 4 and are making games that will directly target and take advantage of its higher specs. These games will work on the current PS4 but with considerable sacrifices made to the performance. Current games will not receive any performance upgrades by being played on the newer system. Any upgrades that come would do so via specific patches released by developers. When asked if this is going to happen, the response was, quote, it's a possibility but doubtful with the exception of a handful of games, end quote. Now the launch games, the following games will directly take advantage of the new PlayStation 4 at launch. Eve Valkyrie for PlayStation VR, Robinson the Journey for PSVR, Gran Turismo Sport for PSVR, Deep Down for PS4, and the one that's got me the most hype, God of War 4 for PlayStation 4. Now, as I said, this is a rumor. It is a lot of conjecture, but as you guys and I know, a lot of these guys in Kotaku, especially moderators, they know what they're talking about. So it sounds to me like this could very well be true. Nothing in this article screams to me that it's false or just made up. All this stuff is pretty much verifying what we already know, uh, other than the God of War kind of announcement. We know that the PS4.5 or the PS4K will be able to upscale games to 4K. We know that it's going to have a stronger GPU uh, and, a, and a more powerful CPU. We know it's going to be smaller. Uh, so this, this all sounds very reasonable to me. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you already have a PS4, do you see yourself upgrading uh, for possibly uh, the VR aspect of the, the PS4? I'm super excited about PSVR, guys. I mean, I, my mind is really, really amped for having that whole new experience. So I want the best possible VR experience in my home. So I'm going to have to get one of these at least. To upgrade or not to upgrade, that is the question. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. Be sure to share the video on your favorite social media site. That's Twitter, Facebook, all links in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take off.